everybody! This week I'm going to show you how to make a scat hat, which is a hat and a scarf together. It is so cool, or should I say, it is so warm. <laughs> to give a huge shout out and thank you to Deborah for asking me if I could make one of these scat hats on a loom. I absolutely love my scat and I wouldn't have even known what a scat was if it wasn't for her. Thank you so much Deborah. you're awesome. Like always, I wanted to make this project super easy so that even beginners can make one of these hats. It is that time of year to be making our Christmas gifts and I think this will make the perfect gift and they're quite stylish too. I can't wait to show you how to make a scat so let's get started. The type of yarn that I used was Heartland Lion Brand. You can get this yarn online, in craft stores, or at Walmart. I used three spools of yarn and each one has 251 yards. The yarn is a soft medium number four. This is a really soft yarn and the hat feels so comfortable when I wear it, so I highly recommend picking a soft yarn. I used a 36 peg loom for my hat, but you can use a 40 peg loom if you need a larger hat. The colors I used are Great Smoky Mountains Gray and Kings Canyon Green. I want to thank everyone who helped me choose the colors for this hat. It turned out better than I even imagined. We are going to start off by making the brim of the hat. I mix the two colors for the brim by using one strand of gray and one strand of green yarn together. The brim of the hat gets 17 rows. Make a slip knot and put it on the side peg. Then e-wrap the pegs all the way around the loom. Push your work down on each of the pegs and then e-wrap each of the pegs again. Once all the pegs are wrapped, use your loom hook and pull the bottom loop up and over the top loop and the peg like this. This is the only stitch that we will be using for the whole hat. See, I told you it would be easy. Then we will wrap the pegs again and pull the bottom loops over the top and make the second row. After a couple of rows, take the slip knot off of the side peg like this. Once you think you have enough rows, count them. Let's secure the end yarn strands by pushing one piece through a hole and then tying both pieces together. Push all your work down on your pegs. Follow a line of stitches from the peg all the way down to the end and then find the end stitch. Then put the end stitch onto the peg like this. Do this all the way around your loom until you form the brim. Take the end strands that you just knotted and tuck them into the center of the brim to hide them. And continue to put the end loops on the pegs. To secure the brim, take the bottom loops and pull them up and over the top loops and pegs. Now the brim is done. The first stripe gets eight rows and it is a solid stripe. I will make my solid stripes green because I have two yarn spools of green. I cut the gray yarn and tie the end of the second spool of green onto the gray piece we just cut. Tie it a couple of times and cut the extra off. Now make your eight rows. In order to keep both green spools evenly used as I make my hat, I use a sticky note paper to remind me of which green yarn needs to be cut next when I switch to the gray color to make the mixed stripe. I put my first note on the spool that I used for the brim and the first solid color row. After I cut it, I switch to the gray and I move my note to the other spool of green yarn. It makes it so easy. The second stripe gets seven rows. I like the stripes on my hat to have wider rows close to the brim that get smaller as the hat goes along. I think it gives the hat more dimension. The third stripe gets six rows. The fourth stripe gets five rows. The fifth stripe gets four rows. 
and the sixth stripe gets three rows. After it gets down to three rows, I made the stripes alternate from three rows to four rows until the scat is finished. Three rows of mixed and four rows of solid. Know that you can do your stripes however you want them, or you can make your scat one solid color. The length is up to you also. I stuck to the length that my three small spools of yarn made, but if you want a longer scarf part, use more yarn. Make your scat however you want it. Now let's cast off and finish the scat. Stop looming the scat when your spools of yarn are almost to the end. We will need some yarn to make the tassels. Here is the first loop. Wrap your working yarn around the peg next to the first loop. Use your loom hook and pull the bottom loop over the top loop and the peg. Take the loop off of the peg and move it over to the first peg. Now pull the bottom loop up and over the top loop and peg and then move the remaining loop to the empty peg next to it. Let's watch that again. I love casting off. Once you get the hang of it, it is a lot of fun. Do this all the way around the loom until all the loops are off of the pegs. When you get to the very last loop, cut the yarn, take the loop off of the peg, and put the end of the yarn through the loop and pull it tight to finish the cast off. Let's make our tassel by wrapping the leftover yarn around a book. My book was 10 inches. Stop wrapping when you think you have enough. Cut one side when you are done wrapping. And then cut those strands in half. This makes the tassel four and a half to five inches long. We will use the tassels to close the hole at the end of the scat. Open a loop on each side of the hole and put the loops together. Fold three tassel yarn pieces in half and put the folded part through the two loops. Open the three tassel loops and push the ends through the loops and pull it tight like this. Do this all the way across the end of the scat until the hole is shut up tight and the tassels hang perfectly. Now let me show you how to put the hat on. Slide the hat on your head. And then you rest it on the back like this. Bring this part around the front and around the front again. Now, I love my scat and I know that these will make the perfect gifts. They are so awesomely stylish and super unique. This scat hat was such a joy for me to make and I hope that it inspires you to give it a try too. I also have a lot of other easy to follow looming tutorials that you might want to check out. The link to the playlist is below. Always feel free to post your pictures on our Facebook page if you have a craft to share with us. Here is what was shared with us this week. It is always a pleasure to see your creativity. I appreciate you taking the time to share. I have so many ideas for future projects that I want to make tutorials for. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. By doing that, you help me know what you like watching. And it also encourages YouTube to share the video too. Thank you so much for all your support and for watching Easy Bee World. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye! It's a scarf and a hat.